Hi friends, welcome to Cooking with Didi. The ingredients will be listed in the directions and I want to give you a heads up. I had technical difficulties so part of the video is missing but the directions are below. You want to start with your chicken. I mix all of my seasonings together first and then I blend it well, mix it in with my chicken and set it aside for about five minutes. Get a nice large skillet on medium high with two tablespoons of butter. I use my diced vegetables. H-E-B sells a brand here called Creole Seasoning. I love it. I just add a little bit of red bell peppers for the color and a little sweetness with the vegetables. You want to saute them, not until they're translucent, just for about three minutes. Then you want to add in your marinated chicken tenders. You want to let them cook on each side, maybe for about three minutes, flipping it over well. I love the flavor of watch, oh, sorry about that, Worcestershire sauce. Not sure I'm saying that right on my meat, but anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, I flip my chicken over and I try and dice my chicken tenders up into thirds so that my dish will have plenty of chicken in it. I'm using some jalapeno sausage. You can use whatever you like. And Dooley sausage is my preferred, but I didn't have any on hand. I'm going to let that simmer for a little bit. Now I'm adding in my roasted diced tomatoes, stirring it in well. And my video was corrupted here, but I did add two bay leaves with some chicken broth. Now my Shrimp has been sitting to the side, marinated with some Creole seasoning and garlic powder. I'm gonna stir in my shrimp gently. Notice shrimp is always added last because it does not take very long to cook. I'm gonna add in a little bit more chicken broth and some seasoning. I've added in some cheese and white cheddar cheese. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of this cream base here and add a little bit of flour and blend it well to pour it in as a thickening base. And three tablespoons of white wine. I'm gonna blend this in well. Again, I apologize for the video. You didn't see that part. All right, my peony pasta was cooked according to the box. I'm pouring in my shrimp sausage and chicken mixture over the peony. I'm gonna blend it in well, stirring it. And now I'm gonna take a skillet and take about half a block of cream cheese, about a cup of chicken broth, melt it. Put three tablespoons of butter in my skillet and I want those flavors in with this roux that I'm gonna make. Our bechamel sauce, I don't know which one it is. I didn't go to culinary school, I'm self-taught, but it's one of them. All right, I'm gonna blend in this flour with the butter on medium high and I'm gently pouring in the chicken broth with the heavy cream here, stirring it well. I don't want it too brown, so about three minutes. Add in a little more chicken broth, stir it well. It's smelling pretty good. Keep stirring so that it doesn't stick to the bottom of your skillet. Now here's my melted cream cheese. I'm gonna blend that in well so there are no lumps. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. And don't worry about the measurements. I'll have it down in the description. A pinch or two of some Worcestershire sauce here. I'm gonna season my roux a little bit. Or my bechamel sauce. Stirring it well. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. All right, I have a little bit of white cheddar cheese left. I guess that's about a fourth of a cup, a little less than a fourth of a cup. Stirring that in. All right. I could have cleaned. 
between that spoon, right? But I didn't. Sorry. All right. Here's some dry Parmesan. I'm just going to shake a little bit to lift the flavors. I didn't have any fresh Parmesan on hand. So I'm using that. It's your choice. You can use the dried or the fresh. Season it a little bit more. Season your dish according to your family's preference. We, we love the spices. All right, this is purely optional. I'll add about a dash of um, hot sauce. I love the marriage of these flavors. So again, make this dish your own. If you don't want the hot sauce, don't use it. All right, now you missed this because my cell phone acted up and froze the video. But I poured that cream roux sauce over the pasta dish. And this is what it looks like. And it smells divine. I hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching.